A front-loading cargo bike can be one of the most joyful e-bikes to ride around. And it can also serve a purpose for a variety of cargo needs, for kid carrying needs, um, even just for the adventurous rider that maybe wants to do a bike packing trip. The front Absolutely. loader is the perfect tool. So we are here today with Risa Mueller's front loading cargo line. And that is the load series and the Paxer series. And we're going to highlight some of the cool features of both knowing that with all recent Mueller bikes, you really have the option to customize these bikes from the ground up to suit your specific needs. So Amy, the Paxter is yes. nice and shiny. Yes. And I'm so curious about this box. Let's walk through the Paxter first and then head to the load after that. Okay, let's, let's talk about some highlights of the Paxter. This particular bike has been with recent Mueller for quite some time. Uh, some of the highlights are this box, um, it's highly recyclable, so it may be made with recyclable material, but also um, when you're done with it, if you ever are, you could uh, <laughs> recycle it. Inside, um, the kid carriers in there with the little seat belts and so forth, those are also made of recyclable material. Um, something cool that differentiates this model from the load series is the batteries are actually integrated into the frame. So with this particular one, you have two power tube batteries in there. So you get a lot of range with it. And if the, the EPP foam is actually a little bit shock absorbing too, it which is, is kind of cool. Right. So the Paxter comes standard as just a front suspension model. You can actually add the control technology when you're customizing the bike, which adds an, a rear suspension to it as well. Um, but the foam adds a little bit of shock absorption on its own. So that's a cool right. little bonus of this yeah. pretty little box. Absolutely. <laughs> so, you, you know, if you're carrying some of your wares in here, um, you know, it'll help absorb and not maybe break some things or you know, your little kids. <laughs> yeah, in yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. The Paxter model, just like the Load Series 2, it's got a touring option and a Vario option. So it comes with the Enviolo continuous hub gearing system and the Vario. But the Load, let's pop over to the Load now, also has the option to come with a roll-off. And just a quick note on those, the touring will be your traditional chain and derailleur setup. Yep. The Vario comes with the continuous Enviolo hub gearing system, and that goes across the Risa Mueller model lineup. That's a super smooth shifting system that you have a grip shift, you're just rolling back and forth, and the gearing is all housed internally with a Gates belt drive to go with it. So just a really smooth operating system, very low maintenance as well with that belt drive. And then the roll off similarly comes with the belt drive, but it's an electronic 14 gear shifting system. So you have a higher, a wider gearing range yep. with the roll off than with any other system basically out there. Right. So you have a higher high and a lower low, and it's it's also a really smooth operating system too. One more to add, this comes with the automatic, which is another oh, right. shifting option. Um, a little bit different where it you set it up and then it shifts for you. So you're going up a hill, you don't have to think about it. It'll adjust per the cadence that you put into the computer initially. Nice little option for people who are kind of intimidated by the whole shifting. Yeah, it took me a little while to get the hang of it, but once I did, it was awesome. It it's, was doing the work for me. Of the, I didn't have to think. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty cool. It's pretty cool when you have your cargo up front, whatever it might be, and you're a little concerned coming up to a hill, like, oh no, I might have to shift. Ah, it shifts for you. <laughs> One step ahead. Another cool thing I love about, well, both of these bikes are equipped with the Bosch cargo line motors. Yep. The Paxter has the ultimate torque with the cargo line 20 mile per hour motor. Um, it is just a beast of a bike. So you <laughs> yes. really can load this box up with, I think it's like 375 liters of cargo. It is. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which I don't even know what that equates to in real life dimensions, but it sounds like a lot. I'm sure it's a ton. <laughs> and so this is like the beast of the power. The load you can also equip with that cargo line 20 mile per hour motor, but notably it has the option to get a 28 mile per hour cargo line speed motor, which is really nice if maybe you don't have super steep hills in your commute or your daily life. and you want to be able to kind of keep up with traffic as you're riding on the road. 
The load series has the, the tried and true load models, the 60 the smaller and the 75 the larger. Yep. And then this year with the introduction of the load four, the load four just indicates you're getting the smart system, yep. Bosch smart system, which excludes the roll off for now, at yep. least. So touring and Vario with the smart system. The load in my mind really shines with its off-road capability. It has the option to get these GX tires, which notably the Paxter does too. Yep. Um, but it comes standard as a dual suspension bike. So even if you're just riding around some roads that may have potholes or a lot of speed bumps or you know anything where you feel like a little cushion will be appreciated. The load is awesome for that. Um, the little bit sleeker box it has the kid seats as well or just a cargo carrying option. Um, but it just is all around super, both of them super cool yeah. the bike. You can't go wrong. You, can, you can't go wrong. And we are a test center too for Risa Mueller. So come and ride to your heart's content to see the difference between the Paxter and the load. See if one strikes your fancy, but the front cargo option is the way to go.